me, bro. You 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 think you you got some knowledge, right? But you we, you're not smart though. You're not smart because I'm gonna tell you something. You forsaken the laws of God. Give me what I asked you for, bro. Read. Two chapter thirty two. Uh huh. Verse eight. Read. But there, uh huh. Is a spirit uh -huh. and Start at seven. First time. Read. I said. Uh huh. They should speak. And multitude of years. Great man not always wise. Great man not always wise. Great men are not always wise. Let's start up above. Verse 8. Uh -huh. But there is a spirit in man. Read. The spirit uh -huh. and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Great men are not always wise. God said great men ain't always wise. Give me some rock 1924. The brother come up here and say he knows something, but he forsaken the laws of God. Now, if he was smart, he'd be keeping God's laws. That's right. He don't know why. He, he's still in the ghetto. If he was so wise, get your folks out the ghetto. You're not wise. That's why you're still in the ghetto. Read that up. So, Rock, chapter 19 and 24. Uh-huh. He that has small understanding. God say he that has small understanding. Yeah, he might have read a book. He don't know what the hell he's talking about, though. Read it out. And fear is God. But if he fear God, read. It's better than one uh -huh. that has much wisdom. If you better than one that have much wisdom if you was keeping the laws of God. Our people think they know everything, but they still in the hood. Get your people up out the ghetto, bro. If you know so much, why the white man ruling over you if you're so smart? You read all these books, but you can't figure out why the white man ruling over you. Read. And transgressing uh -huh. the law of the Most High. You transgressed the laws of the Most High. That's why another nation there. ruling over you. It's time for our people to repent and come back to the laws of God. Because that's why you're in the conditions you're in. You dwell in the worst parts of the city because the Most High God said you was going to do it. He made good on his word. Give me Baruch 2 and 1. Hey, how you doing, bro? You got a question, bro? Hey. Right. Give me uh, Amos 3 and 3. Listen to this, bro. This is what God said. You want to know why you can get shot down in the streets by the so-called white man? Don't nothing happen to you? God said it was going to happen. Hold that for me. Read that. The book of Amos, uh -huh. chapter 3, and verse 3. Read. Can two walk together? Nah, I want uh, Amos one, 3 and 1. I'm okay. sorry. Amos, chapter 3, and verse 1. Uh-huh. Hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you, uh -huh. O children of Israel. God spoke a word against these people right here. He said, I hear this word that I'm speaking against you, O house of Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native American. That's the Israelites today. Read. Against the whole family uh -huh. which I brought up from the land of Egypt, uh -huh. saying, Read. You only have I known. God said, You only have I known. Read. Of all the families of the earth. There's a lot of families on the earth, right? But God say, these are the only people I know. Okay, read. Therefore, Therefore, I will punish you. I will do what? I will punish you. I will punish you, read. For all your iniquities. Uh, for all your iniquity. What's iniquity? Sin. When you break God's law, that's sin. Because, see, we're the only people that he had the contract with. Okay, we made an agreement with the Most High God to keep His laws. All right, give me not, Daniel nine and eleven. So when we don't break the, when we break His laws, guess what? The curses get poured out of on us. That's why the so-called white man didn't go into slave on cargo slave ship, cause he ain't got the agreement with the Most High God. That's why the Chinese man didn't go into slavery on slave ships. You understand what I'm saying? That happened to us because God said it was gonna happen to us. Read that. The book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 11. Listen to me, bro. Read. Yay, all Israel have transgressed. Uh, hold up. All who? Yay, all Israel have transgressed. Thy law. Why are you still in the ghetto, bro? Why, why are you and your people still in the worst parts of the city? Okay, that's what we are here teaching then. So what you got to do? You got to repent, bro. Are you, are you finna repent? Are you finna repent? We ain't dealing with... We didn't go into slavery for, for saying a word wrong. We didn't go into slavery for saying a word. I'm going to show you why we went into slavery. Read it again. Daniel 9 and 11. Uh -huh. Yay. Uh -huh. All Israel. Man, where you going, bro? Where you so going? Uh, all Israel have did what? Yay. All Israel have transgressed thy law. What does that say? He said all Israel did what? Broke his law. Read. Even by departing. Uh-huh. That they 
might not obey thy voice. They didn't obey, we didn't obey God's voice, read. Therefore, because, yeah, therefore, therefore, because we didn't obey God's voice, read. It's poured upon what, us. What's poured on us? Therefore, the curse uh -huh. is poured upon us. What curse is he talking about? Read. And the oath uh -huh. that is written in the law of Moses. He's talking about the curse that's in the law of Moses. Now give me Deuteronomy 28. I'm finna show you one of them curses. What is one of the judgments for not keeping God's law? Deuteronomy 28, 68. Bring it up. Deuteronomy 28, 68. This is one of the judge, this is one of the judgments for not keeping God's laws. Deuteronomy! I, I, hold up, hold up, give me, before you get that, give me uh Psalm 82 and 6. Yes, I agree we are gods. Yes, I agree. Yep. My listen to this though. Listen, listen. Hold up, hold up. Listen to me, bro. You say we are God. Let's deal with that. Listen to this. Read. Uh, listen to this. Read. Listen to this. Listen, listen to me, bro. Listen to me. Read. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. Uh-huh. I have said, I have said, we are God. God said we the gods of the earth. Read. And all of you uh -huh. are children of the Most High. And we children of the Most High God. Read. But, 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 read. Ye shall die like men. You're going to die like a man because you're breaking God's law. Right. Our people out here right now still breaking God's laws. And, and you... You contributed to the breaking of God's law. Because I'm going to show you. Give me Matthew 5, 19. You're supposed to be up here with us teaching our people not to transgress the laws of God. You understand what I'm saying? Listen to this. You're going to get it worse if you know this. I'm going to prove it to you out the Bible. Matthew 5, 19. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 19. Read. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. If you breaking one of these least commandments, like shaving off your beard, that's a law right there. You breaking that commandment right now, you shaving off your beard, read. And shall teach men so. And now you teaching other men to draw out a goatee. You teaching, you teaching with your action. No, no, read. He uh -huh. shall be called the least uh -huh. in the kingdom of heaven. You hear that? You hear that? Give me, give me uh, Leviticus 11. And 20, what is Leviticus 11, Leviticus 11, 46, oh, okay. Leviticus 11 and 46. You say we can't eat animals, right? Hold up. This, right, if you ain't keeping the law, you ain't no Israelite. If you ain't keeping the law, you ain't keeping the law. I'll keep the law. i keep the law. Read the read law. Leviticus chapter 11 uh -huh. and verse 46. Read. This. It's the law of the beast. God said it's the law of the beast. Read. And of the vile. Uh -huh. And of every living creature uh -huh. that moveth in the water. Read. And of every creature. You saying, hold up. You saying we can't eat meat. Yo, you saying we can't eat meat. I can look at you and tell you breaking God's laws. You out here on the Lord's seventh day. I could look at you. God, I'm looking at you. Give me Matthew 7, 15. You look like a fool out here breaking God's law. You look like a fool. You say you got all these wisdom. Is, they, is it not the, later, the day of the Lord's Sabbath day? Is the day of the Lord's Sabbath day? This ain't the white man Bible. This is God's Bible. And he telling this is our Bible. And no, you, in, you out here with your people teaching them to break God's law. Read what I say. Matthew chapter 7. In verse 15, Read. beware of false prophets. Beware of a false prophet. You ain't no prophet of God. That's Because right. you will be out here keeping, you'll be keeping God off. Read. Right. Which come to you uh -huh. in sheep's clothing. Skip down to verse 16. Verse 16. Read. Ye shall know them by their fruit. What did he say? Ye shall know them by their fruit. We know who you are, bro. God said we're going to know you by your fruits. What your fruit is to break, you out here reveling on God's seventh day. You want to correct us, but you out here reveling on God's seventh day. You breaking God's laws. It's time to repent and come back to God's law. Right. When you come to the house of the Lord, you need to close your mouth. That's give, right, me, right. give me Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. It's time. What, what you doing for your people? You ain't doing nothing for your people. You teaching them to break God's laws. Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. It's time for our people to repent and come back to the laws of God. Ecclesiastes yes, 5 and 1. You come up to the prophets of God and teach them to, and teaching our people to break God's laws. Stop it. Time for our people to repent. How you doing, bro? Hey, bro. 
Come back over here, bro. I'm sorry. You know who that was, right? That was the devil. Because the scriptures say when the devil come up, he, he'll, he'll take away the word. Okay, so you understand what we're saying now? That we can tr we transgress the laws of God. Right. That's why we punish. I'm going to show you one of the punishments. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, 68. We had, to, we had to blast the people that come up here taking away the word from our people. Okay. Listen to this. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. He's keep his laws. He's going to bring us into Egypt again. Egypt, Egypt means bondage. I'm going to bring you in slavery again. Read. With ship. Who that happened to? We went into slavery on ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Just like God said was going to happen, that's how it happened. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. God said you ain't gonna hear it no, you ain't gonna see your land no more again. Who that down there talking? What you got to say, bro? You want to don't run off. Come on down here with the prophets. That's right. You got something to say with the prophets? Come on with the, but see, you out here getting drunk on the Lord's Seventh day. Put put the bill down and That's come down right. here and stand up like a man. That's for the most high God. Right. Put your bill down and come down here with the prophets of God. You don't want to deal with us, bro. Keep it moving. What you got, bro? Listen to this, bro. There ain't nothing but the devil trying to get the word away from you. So why we went into uh, read that again? Uh, and the Lord shall bring thee into uh, Egypt again with ships. That's why we went into slavery on ships, bro. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Just like Moses said it was going to happen, that's how it happened. What we read, we read Bible prophecy. You want to know why it happened to you? Because you're the Israelites. And you broke the law. You broke the covenant with the Most High God. Read. Tell Shall see it no more again. And we ain't seen our homeland no more. We still here. We still here. Our people destroyed out here. Read. And there you shall be so. Uh, listen to this, bro. It say there, after you got off the ship, read. And there uh -huh. you shall be so uh -huh. unto your enemies. Who are we sold to? When we get off the ship, were we not sold? What we read? We're reading the Bible. Read. Read. For bond men. For slave men. And born women. And slave women. Our women was right there too. Okay. Now give me uh give me 16. Skip up to 16. Hey, you know why they kill it? I'm gonna show you why they kill it. Give me that in uh Hosea 4-1. That's right. I'm gonna show you why they kill it in, in Memphis. I'm gonna show you why they kill in the Memphis. The Bible got the answer. The Bible got the answer. If y'all want to stop the killing, you know what you got to do? You got to teach them God's law. That's right. Read that for me. Read The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh-huh. Hear the word of the Lord, uh -huh. ye children of Israel. God say, hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel. Who the Israelite? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's Read. right. For the Lord uh -huh. has a controversy uh -huh. with the inhabitants of the land. The Most High God got a problem with the inhabitants of the land. Speed up, bro. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, uh -huh. nor knowledge of God in the land. God say ain't no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Read. By swearing. By what? By swearing. Our people love to swear. Read. And lying. And lying. Our people love to lie. Read. And killing. And doing what? And killing. Why you killing? Because ain't no truth in the land. Yes. Why we killing? Because ain't no truth in the land. Y'all don't know who y'all. You think you some African Americans? Right. You ain't no African American. You the Israelites. That's right. You God chosen people. You are killing one another because you hate each other. That's right. You know who hates you as a whole? The so called white man hates your gut. That's right. Not only him, the other nations, all of them hate you. The Chinese man hates you. The Korean man hates you. He be y'all run to the y'all run to the Korean man to get your nails done, but he hates your guts. The Korean folk hate your gut. Stop running to them folk getting your nails done. Go to the so-called black folks to get your nails done. They hate your guts. I'm telling you. Read. And stealing. And what? And stealing. We stealing because we don't keep God's laws. Read. And committing adultery. You commit adultery because you do not keep God's laws. Read. They break out uh -huh. and blood touches blood. You break God's law, now blood touches blood. Now you hate your brother. It's time for our people to repent and come back to the laws of God. You want to stop the killing? Repent. You ain't, all that praying ain't going to help. God said don't do that. Give me Matthew 5, what I want, in the middle of the street. Who can know it? Matthew 6 and 5. Matthew 6 and 5. Because you're praying in the street, ain't going to stop the killing. 
You know what's going to stop the killing? Repent and come back to God's law. That's, yes. right. That's going to stop the killing right there. Read. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 5. Uh-huh. And when thou prayest. When God said, Christ said, when you pray, read. Thou shalt not be uh -huh. as the hypocrites. Don't are. be like no hypocrites, read. For they love to pray standing uh -huh. in the synagogue. Uh-huh. And in the corners of the street. God said the hypocrites love to pray in the streets. God said don't do that. God said go in the closet and pray. But for him to hear you, you got to be doing something. Give me Matt, Give me John 9, 31. You want God to hear your prayers? This is what you got to do. Listen to the Bible. We got the answers right here. You want to know why it's crime in your community? You want to know it's black on black crime in your community? Why it's crack in your community? Why age, HIV, why chlamydia, gonorrhea, all that stuff in your community because you will not obey God's law. Read the book of John chapter 9 and 31. Read. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. So if you're praying, what did God say? Now we know that God heareth not sinners. God said he don't hear no sinners. God said he do not hear sinners, so stop praying until you repent and start to keeping God's laws. That's right. Read. But if any man uh -huh. be a worshiper of God. If you're going to worship the one true God, the God of Israel, read. And do it his will. You got to do his will. Read. Him he hears. Him he hears. That's, who, that's how you're going to be heard if you repent and come back to the laws of God. Because the most I say he ain't hearing that God. Give me Proverbs 28 9. God ain't hearing you if you're not keeping his commandments. That's what we all had to do, tell our people to repent and come back to the laws of God. Well, y'all right. heard that? The reason why the killing going on because we won't keep God's laws. That's right. You will not keep God's law. One of the law is don't kill. <laughs> if, our people was keeping, if our people were keeping God's law, they wouldn't be killing. But we don't teach God's laws in your church. You know what you teach them in the church? Give me 10%. Bring it out. Give me 10%. You don't teach God laws in the church. Read. Proverbs chapter uh -huh. 28 and 9. Read. He that turneth away his ear uh -huh. from hearing the law. You turn in your churches, you turn away your ear from hearing God laws. Read. Even his prayers. Even your prayers, which y'all just got to do doing out in the street. Read. Shall be abominations. God say your prayers are abominations. I got a job for you too, bro. Give me, give me Isaiah 43, 21. I'm going to show you your job. I'm going to show you your job, bro. I got a job for you. It's time for you to do your job. That's right. What the most I created you for. Isaiah 43, 21. Give me what I got. Hey, how you doing, bro? You got a question? You got a question? You good? You know what we out here teaching? We teaching that we the Israelites. We God chosen people. And the reason why all these atrocities and bad things keep happening to us because we will not keep God's laws. So what we out here telling our people to do is repent and keep the laws of God. Our people don't, don't want to repent. They don't want to hear. They don't want to hear. They say, take that word away from me. But no, we're going to bring it out. That's right. What That's I ask you right. for. Isaiah chapter huh? 43 and verse 21. He said, do we want a, do we want a job? We got a job. This is what your job is. Read. These people have I formed for myself. God say, you Israelites out here, he formed for himself. Read. They shall shoot forth. My praise. They should pray for my praise. Your, your job is to keep to praise the most high God. That's what your job is. That's right. Your job is to praise the most high God. We the Israelites. It's time for our people to repent. Do your job, black man. Do your job. Your job is to praise the most high God. That's why he created you. That's right. To keep his laws. He, he didn't create the Chinese man to praise him. That's why you went into slavery for breaking God's law. Give me Amos 3 and 1. Hey, brother, look over there in the head. Listen to what God say. Amos 3 and 1. He said, he said you're the only people I know. That's why I'm going to punish you. What's that? I can't hear you. Yeah, we the, we the soldiers because we stand up for the most high God. Sojourners? Oh, the other nations? Oh, the God called them dogs. That's right. God called them dogs. The other nations are people. We the only people that God know. Listen to this. Amos. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Read. Hear this word. 
But the Lord has spoken against you. Read. Oh, children of Israel. God spoke against the children of Israel. Why? Because they broke his laws. Read. Against the whole family, uh -huh. which I brought up from the land of Egypt, say, Read. You only have I known. God say, you are the only people I know. The Israelites, the only people I know. How we know who the Israelites are today? Because they got a big sign on them. They got a sign on their head just like the, uh, what does that say? Orn, mound, tune, and tie. That's a sign right there. You, the so-called so blacks and Spanish are the Israelites because we know who they are because they got a sign on their head. Right. So you're right. So now that's what's going on. He's bringing us back. We waking up to keeping God's law. That's that means right. that mean the time ain't long because you got young men up here, 21 years old, saying keep the laws of God. That's right. why, why the rest of these young men ain't doing it? They out here trying to hit some holes. But we out here telling our people to, to keep the laws of God. That's right. It's time for our people to repent because the time's short. The time's short. The most high God is coming. He coming. Christ coming. And it's going to be just like in the days of Noah. Yeah, do you have a question? Bring it out, okay, all right, you got a question. We we know what a crime is. The, the crime is here because we don't keep God's law. That's right. We don't keep God's law. Read, listen to me. Listen to me. Read that for me. Through the road of it, chapter 6, verse 7. Uh -huh. And thou shalt teach them diligently uh -huh. unto thy children. You're about to teach them children the laws of God. Bring it out. God said the young women for to dress in modest apparel. Read that again. And thou shalt teach them diligently uh -huh. unto thy children. You teaching your children not to dress with modest apparel. Give me that in 1 Timothy 2 and 9. Uh, our children, we're about to teach our children the laws of God. You're not teaching your children the laws of God. You're teaching your children to break the laws of God. You're teaching your children, it's all right to twerk out here on the Lord's Sabbath day. Bring it out. Read that for First Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. In like manner also, Read. that women uh -huh. adorn themselves uh -huh. in modest apparel. What is modest apparel? Read it out. Huh? God, the Bible said that you put adorn yourself in modest apparel, women. If you out here, if I can, I, if I can see what you got out yeah. here, you not adorn yourself in modest apparel. Bring it out. And then we wonder why it's rape. Bring you rape, if folk get raped because you're showing what you got. Bring, Bring it out. out. Cover that thing up. Put on modest apparel. But no, you teach your children to break the laws of God. Bring it out. It's time for our people to repent and put on the laws of God. Right Give me that in uh, 1 John 2.15. Bring because you think because you got a Corvette, you good. Bring you ain't good. The most high God going to put you to death. That's right. It is what it is. God said love not the world. Right. Neither the things in the world. Yes. The only reason why you want that Corvette because the white man told you it was good. Yeah. Right. He told you it was a good car. Right. Right. You, you wouldn't know. even know what a Corvette was if the white man wouldn't tell you a Corvette. Read that. Huh? Read that huh? Read First John chapter 2 verse 15. Uh -huh. Love not the world. God said love not the world. That's right. You you so-called blacks out here wouldn't know what a Corvette was if the white man didn't teach you that. Bring it out, huh? He yeah. taught he taught you that a Corvette was good. Right. And if he taught you a Ford Escort cost 80,000, you'll buy that too. That's read, that, right? read that, huh? Love read not the world. God said love not the world. Read. Neither the things that are in the world. God said don't love the things that are in the world. Read. read. If any man love the world. If any man and one of you men that drive these Corvettes love the world, read. The love uh -huh. of the Father is not in him. God said the love of the Father ain't in you. And you're going to get put to death. That's it is what it is. You're going to get put to death. you right. in the Corvette. Gonna get get you're going to get burnt up when the real sonic boom come down. That's right. The real sonic boom. That Jackson State garbage, that was the fake sonic boom. The real sonic boom is when Christ come to lay destruction on America. So it's time for our people to repent and come back to the laws of God and teach your kids the laws of God. That's right. For too long, our people been breaking God's laws on the Lord's Sabbath day. But that's all right. That's all right. When Christ come back, you're going to get put to death. It is what it is. It's time for our people to repent. Give me that in Luke. Luke 13 and uh, what I want? Three? Three. three. Luke 13, 3. What we out here doing? This love right here. That's right. If y'all y'all think we messing up your parade, but this love right here. We love we love our people. That's why we out here. We love our people. That's why we out here. Read that out. Luke chapter 13, verse 3. Uh -huh. I tell ye nay. Read. But except ye repent. Except you do what? Repent. God said you got to repent. Stop breaking his laws. You women put on clothes. 
Bring it out. Bring we it out. tired of seeing what your husband for to see. Bring it out. We don't want to see that. We want our women to dress modestly. That's, That's right. right. Oh, oh, oh. Stop putting the white woman hair on your head. Too. Bring it out. Right. God right. said, what well, he created is beautiful. That's right. Bring it out. Won't you right. black women go natural? Stop putting all that crap in your head. That's right. Bring it out. Bring that up. I tell ye nay, uh -huh. but except ye repent, uh -huh. ye shall all likewise perish. God said if you don't repent, you're going to perish. Now give me this show them this is love. Leviticus 19, 17. Bring it out. This love right here. Love is when you see your people and breaking God's law, you come out here and tell them. That's right. Love is when you see your people breaking God's law, warn them. So that's what we out here to do. Read this for now. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. We don't hate our people. We love our people, but you're breaking God's laws and you're going to get put to death. That's right. It is where it is. Y'all float pretty, but you're breaking God's laws. Yeah. It's, time, it's time to repent. Read. Thou shalt not hate anyone. Huh? Repeat thy name. God said we're going to rebuke our name. But y'all, y'all, y'all doing the, uh, what they call? What? The choo choo. The choo choo? That's the choo choo? You know, if y'all doing that when Christ comes back, you'll get put to death. Yeah. It, is. it is what it is. It's time for our people to repent. Stop doing the choo choo and repent. Bring it out. It's time for our people to repent. Read that up. Leviticus 19 and 17. Uh huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. God said we don't want to hate our brother in our heart. Read. Thou shalt in any way uh -huh. be rude. Neighbor. God said we're going to rebuke our neighbor and do what? Read. And not suffer sin upon him. We don't want to suffer sin on our people, but we see a lot of sin today. You got you got little babies with skin showing out here. They got little babies twerking with skin showing. You don't want to teach your kid this right here. Give me do it around the six and seven. Teach, teach your kid to put on clothes. Teach your kid to put on clothes, a modest apparel. Read that. I'm the Romans chapter 6, verse 7. Uh -huh. And thou shalt teach them diligently. God said, teach your children diligently. Read. Unto thy children. To who? Unto thy children. God said, you're supposed to teach your children God alone. Bring it out. God said, don't do it. That's right. Oh, the Lord said, that. That's but right. you said, no, I'm going to do it. Give me Zechariah 7 and 11. Bring it out. You forsake the laws of God. But you serving your slave master. Yes, right. Your slave master is not your God. The God of Israel put you in slavery for bringing his law. That's right. That, you all know why you went into slavery? The Most High God did it. Too. That's right. Because he wants you to repent. Read that out. Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11. Read. But they refused to hearken. But you refused to hearken. Read. And pulled away the shoulders. You pull away your shoulders and look at the promise of God like we messing up your parade. But we out here trying to show love to our people. Uh -huh. And stop their ears. You still what? And stop their ears. You stop your ears because you don't want to hear the laws of God. That's right. Take a picture over here, bro. We the prophets of God. That's so right. We're telling our people to repent and come back to the laws of God. That's right. Our people, our, our young women out here twerking. Twerking on the Lord's Sabbath day. That's against God's laws. It's time for our people to repent and come back to the laws of God. Put on, put on the modest apparel. Put on the modest apparel. Stop twerking. Twerk, stop twerking for your slave master. We the prophets of God telling our people to repent and come back to the laws of God. That's right. Give me uh give me that in uh Ezekiel 14 and 6. Bring it out. For too long our people been breaking God's law. That's right. We out here to cast it down. I know, I know they mad, but they ain't mad at us. They mad at God. Bring it out. Because y'all know who sent us out here. The Most High God sent us out here. Read that. Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 6. Uh-huh. The Lord say unto the house of Israel. You so-called blacks and Hispanics out here are the house of Israel. Read. Thus said the Lord God. Thus said the Lord God. Read. Repent. What did he say? Repent. Read. And turn yourself from your idols. God said, repent, turn yourself from your idols. And you black women get that blonde hair out your head. Give me Leviticus 13. Bring it out. Leviticus 13 and nine, uh, what I want, 29? Yes, sir. Leviticus. Uh-huh. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 29. Uh-huh. If a man or woman have a plague upon the head or the beard, really? then the priest shall see the plague and behold, if it be in sight, deep it in the skin, and there be in it a yellow in her. Being hold on, hold on. Give me Proverbs three thirty one. Bring it out. Hey, you know, you, hey, you know, y'all ain't y'all y'all the Israelites, right? 
Y'all know y'all the Israelites, right? Y'all know where y'all get that from. You get it from your slave master. You get it from your slave master. God said, don't follow the slave master. Read that. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. If it thou not be oppressor. God said, what? If it thou not be oppressor. It's all good. But sin is the sin is the uh, breaking of God's law. That's right. And you and, a, and the ways of sin is death. You know? right. Meaning you're gonna get put to death. It is what it is. Read that. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 6. Uh-huh. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel. We are here to speak to the house of Israel. You so-called black and Hispanic. You the Israelites. Right. According to the Bible. Read. Thus said the Lord God. Thus said who? The Lord God. Read. Repent. God said repent. Hey, you brothers ain't no raiders. You the Israelites. Y'all the Israelites. Y'all God chose some people. Now not it's time to do what y'all both be doing. Keeping the laws of God. Y'all both be up here with us teaching our people the right thing to do. God said repent and keep the laws of God. Read that out. Repent. What did God say? Repent. God said repent. Read. And turn yourself. Give me Leviticus 13, 29. I ain't such with the blonde hair. So with the blonde hair, you know that's against God. That's right. You know blonde hair. Let me ask you something. Do your hair grow like that out your skull? Who hair grow like that out their skull? I'll tell you, the white woman hair grow like that. Our 
people hair don't grow like that. Team. God said don't put that crap in your head, Rick. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. Uh -huh. oh, no. If a man or woman have a plague upon the head of the girl. God said you got a plague upon your head. Oh. Any woman out here with blonde hair and head got a plague on their head. That's right. That's right. We called it a spade for a spade. That's Take the blonde hair out your head. That's if your hair grow woolly, let it grow wool. That's right. You see this sister right here? She got natural hair. That's right, sis. That's right. Now all you got to do is put on your modest dress and you good. Bring it out. Right. Read that. Then the priest shall see the plague and behold, uh -huh. if it be in sight, keep it in the skin and that be in it. Uh -huh. A yellow thin hair. God said, you got a yellow thin hair, Reed. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. God said, you're unclean if you got a yellow thin hair in your head. Bring it out. It is what it is. Bring it out. What we read, we read the Bible. The same, right. the same Bible that tell y'all not to go to church on Sunday. That's Bring it out. But y'all do it anyway. Bring it out. Y'all follow it. Y'all following your slave master. You are following your slave master. Read that again, yellow thin hair. What? Then the priest shall see the plague and behold if it be in sight deeper than the skin. Uh -huh. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. Hey, sir, you know it's against God law to have yellow thin hair on your head. Bring it out. That's a plague according to God. Read that again. <laughs> then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. God say you unclean if you got yellow thin hair on your head. So your hair ought to be woolly, like like the most high God here. Give me that a day. Right. Give right. me that a day. What is that? Daniel 79? That's right. Time for our Peter repent. The most high God got woolly hair. Right. The God of the Bible got woolly hair. He ain't got right. yellow thin hair. That's right. Read that. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. Uh -huh. I be held uh -huh. till the thrones were cast down. What we read? We read the Holy Bible. We can read now. For 400 years, they said we couldn't read. Bring but now we can read. We know that the God of the Bible got woolly hat. Read. In the ancient of days, did see. The most high God is the ancient of days. Read. Whose garment uh -huh. was white as snow. Read. In, in the hair uh -huh. of his head. In the hair of God's head. Read. Like the pure wool. What we read? Daniel 7 and 9. The most high got woolly hat. That's right. right. He got woolly hair, he ain't got no yellow thin hair. So, Bring it out! Uh, if you want to be like the most high God, take the yellow thin hair out your head. Bring it out. That's what I'm saying. Give me that back again, Proverbs 331. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. What we read, we read in the Bible. Don't shake your head, repent. Bring it out. If you don't not be oppressed. God said, don't envy your oppressor. Who you envying if you got yellow thin hair in your head? Bring it out, huh? Who you envying if you got yellow thin hair? Read that part again. Envy thou not the oppressor. God said, don't envy your oppressor. Read. And choose none of his ways. Don't choose your oppressor's ways. That's right. Your oppressor got yellow thin hair in their head. We the Israelites. That's right. We got woolly hair. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. people to repent. Give me that by the uh, Christ. Revelation 1. Revelation uh -huh. chapter 1 verse 14. Read. His head and his heart. God, Christ's head and his hair is read. Were white like wool. Christ's hair was like wool. The most high God hair was like wool. Christ's hair was like wool. So what we out here doing, we teaching the truth about the Bible. That's right. What we out here teaching, y'all won't know what we out here teaching. We teaching that the blacks, Hispanics, and are the Israelites. That's right. The blacks, Hispanics, are God chosen people. Right. The Israelites. It's time to repent. It's time to repent and come back to the laws of God. Give me back Leviticus 13. There's too many people out here with yellow thin hair in their head. Bring it out! It's time for to stop that garbage. That's against God's law. That's right. We the God, we the we God chosen people. That's a plague according to the Bible. Read it again. Leviticus 13 and 29. Uh -huh. If a man or woman have a plague upon the head of the bird. God said, if a man or a woman, a lot of you women got plagues on your head. Read. Then the priest shall see the plague and behold. Uh -huh. If it be in sight deeper than the skin, if there be in it, uh -huh. a yellow thin hair. God said, in the Bible day, if you had yellow thin hair, the priest said you was unclean. Okay? But today our people just flock to that with that thing. Yellow thin hair, read. Uh -huh. If it be in sight deeper than the skin, if uh -huh. there be in it, a yellow thin hair, read. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. God say you're unclean if you got yellow thin hair in your head. That's right. So it's time for our people to repent and come back to the laws of God. Because today is the Lord's Sabbath day. What we teaching? God laws. That's right. And I bet a lot of y'all continue to break God law. We time time for our people to repent. Give me that uh, Leviticus 11. Because I already know. 
That's right. I just saw the grills fired up. Bring it out. You know y'all don't vote to cook on the Lord's Sabbath day. See? You don't vote to cook on the Lord's Sabbath day, and you don't vote to eat pork. Bring it out. We ain't no Muslims. We the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. Read that. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. Uh-huh. In the swine. So he divided the hook. In the, in the what now? In the swine. Uh -huh. Don't he divide up the hook and we, eat we, are, we We talking about the swine, the pork, the pork. A lot of our people eat fat back cracklings, ham. A lot of y'all had some, some good bacon this morning. But what does God say, Read. In the swine, huh? though he divide up the hook and be cloven with it. Read. That he chew him not the cud. God say he chew him not the cud. Read. He is unclean to you. Pork is unclean to our people. Right. Put the pork down and repent. That's right. Take, take the blood out of your head. Put the pork down and come back to keeping the Lord's Sabbath day. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.